the witch of Ender. We have already noted that the fallen angels at the time of the deluge were barred from further materialization. Since then, they have sought other ways to influence humanity. Few would communicate with them if they knew their real character. Hence, they represent themselves as being our dead friends and relatives. As such, they attempt to communicate with the living through mediums who are deceived, else they would not serve as mediums for demons. In olden times, these mediums were called witches, wizards, necromancers. They had familiar spirits, or were familiar with the spirits who were disobedient in the days of Noah. God had forewarned Israel against these evil spirits and their mediums. He said that no such medium should be permitted to live in the land of Israel. They might operate amongst nations not under divine care, but God's representative Saul was commanded to put to death all such. When King Saul got out of fellowship with God, who refused further communication, he turned for advice to a witch at Ender and asked her to awaken Samuel the prophet, who meantime had died. The evil spirit impersonated Samuel easily enough, and the witch gave the king messages in his name, whereas Samuel was dead and could not give or receive messages. King Saul saw nothing. He merely received an answer from the witch, who said she saw and heard Samuel. The evil spirits have some way of knowing much respecting the future. But anybody under the circumstances might have known the fate to expect for Saul and his army. The king himself knew what to expect. It was this that troubled him and led him to seek the witch, contrary to the divine command. It is not for a moment supposable that God and Samuel, having refused to communicate with the king, would change and permit a witch, condemned by the divine law, to overrule the matter.